We're gonna do the Taita Nature Trail, a part of it today. We're gonna go from the bridge at the Oak, Oak Creek Feeding Station over to the suspension bridge by the Quonset Hut. A nice kind of quick New Year's Eve hike in the snow. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> Are you gonna chain that up? No, you oh you got gloves you have gloves on, you're not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's quicker uh, go it's quick and quicker going underneath the thing, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't know why but, I can go that way. But easy well easier with a bicycle going that way. What I like about this section of trail is that the ecotone out of the shrub step and into forest land is very abrupt. So it's 1.5 miles from the bridge at the Oak Creek feeding station to this bridge, maybe 1.6. I think on this trail, from bridge to bridge, it's 1.5 miles, regardless which of the three bridges you're walking between. And for this bridge, this last section of plate is actually the hard part. How, how slick is that metal right there if you tried to step up on it right now? You slip and it was, you fall. <laughs> you slip and you fall. So usually you step off early and then you come up on the side. How, how slick is that right now, Beck? It was a bit more slippery yesterday. Yesterday, I couldn't even walk down it. I was like dangling over nothing. Too slick to walk on. Too slick to walk on, so you have to grab the, be able to grab the cables or come up on the side. I heard. So the cave, the cave that cuts in underneath the Titan andesite flow is at the 2.3 mile mark from the Oak Creek feeding station bridge.
arriving back at the bridge at the Oak Creek feeding station. That was 4.6 miles. We went out as an out and back. We went from the bridge to the andesite flow cave. How was it? It was good. It was in the snow. This trail's always good in the snow, isn't it? It has lots of good views on it.